Hi everyone, this is Emmy, and today I'm going to do a demonstration for you on how to make this hat and scarf set. And this pattern is available in Sweet Potato Patterns Shop, and it comes in all sizes from newborn to adult. Okay, so let's get started. This project has worked with a 9mm crochet hook and two strands of worsted weight yarn. Like this, you're just going to make your chain until it's as long as you would like your scarf to be when it's finished. So after you have your chain made, you're just going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch all the way down the chain. And I'm not going to go all the way down because it's already made up and this is very very easy to make so you're just going to single crochet for the first row you're going to single crochet into the chain stitches and you're going to go all the way down the whole length of your chain when you get to the end of your chain you're going to chain one and turn and you're going to work back across the chain and you're going to work only in the back side of the stitch so you're just going to insert your hook in the back part of the stitch and you're going to make a regular single crochet. So in the back side and you're going to single crochet. And you're going to do that all the way across the row. And then every row for this scarf is going to be the same. It's going to be chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row, working only in the back side of the stitch and so that forms a ribbing stitch like that. So I'm just going to do a couple of rows and then I'll show you against the pink one how that looks. Okay, I've done a few rows, so if I place this in front of the pink scarf you can see that that's exactly how you would make that scarf. You just make it as long as you would like it to be and then work as many rows as you would like for your scarf. So that's the scarf, now we're going to move on to the hat. Okay, to make the hat I'm going to demonstrate with newborn baby size. Now I have chained 24 and now I'm going to slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. So slip stitch to join. Chain 1. Single crochet in every stitch across the row. I'm just going to single crochet in every stitch of the chain. Like that. So I'll go all the way around. Okay, I've worked all the way around and at the end of the row I'm going to slip stitch to join and I'm going to chain one and turn. I'm going to single crochet in every stitch across the round. And at the end of the row I'm going to slip stitch to join. And every row until we reach the top of the hat is going to be the same and then we'll begin to decrease for the top of the hat. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work this piece up to where the hat begins to decrease. So um, at the end of every row I'm going to slip stitch to join, chain one and turn, single crochet in every stitch across the round. Okay, since this is going to be for a newborn baby I've worked until my work measures four inches. And now I'm going to begin to decrease for the top of the hat. Okay, so at the end of the row you're going to chain one. and you're going to single crochet in two stitches and you're going to skip the next stitch single crochet in the next stitch you're going to continue doing that working in a spiral so you'll work single crochet, single crochet, skip single crochet, single crochet, skip until the top of the hat is closed up So continue to do that until the top of the hat is closed. 
Okay, and when you get so you just have a small opening left, you can fasten off and then use the yarn ends to just close up the hole in the hat. So there's the finished hat for newborn size. To make the flower, you're going to make two different layers. And you start with a chain five and you slip stitch to join. And then you just begin to make loops. To make your loops, you're going to chain five, single crochet in the ring, chain five, single crochet in the ring. To make the larger layer for the bottom, you're going to do the same thing. Chain five, slip stitch to join and form a ring. Chain eight, single crochet in the ring chain 8, single crochet in the ring, and there are 10 loops in this bottom level. And there are 10 loops in the top. And I've threaded one of the yarn ends into a yarn needle, and I'm just going to sew these two layers together. Like that, I'm just going to take the yarn and just going to sew through both layers with the needle and the yarn end. And then I'm just going to take all the yarn ends on the back and tie them into a square knot and trim off the ends. And then just sew a button in the center. To make the flower removable, sew one of these hair clips on the back. And there's the finished hat that we just made. So that's how easy it is to make a matching hat and scarf set, just in time for Christmas gifts.